I'm going to use this length of uh, leaking flexi pipe. I'm going to uh, attach it to an inch pipe at the bottom of the tempest, one at each side, and I'm going to make an irrigation pipe. That, so when I empty the tempest, it waters the rockery. And I also need to make the lids for the backy showers. Welcome to Pomfret's Pond. Previously, we just had that end resting on the top of the tray and because of the rubber boot it's sloping forward uh, so I made two plastic rests but I made them and didn't quite measure them right they were too high so it was sloping backwards so I've removed them now I'm going to cut them down so it's perfectly level and then I'll start concentrating on the lid ok so they were an inch too tall so I'm just going to crop an inch off each one right it's resting on the bottom of the tray and I'm just going to put a blob of silicon in just to hold it in place. Okay both the rest are now siliconed in place and I'll just give the uh, sieve trays a rinse before I put them back in. So as you can see they're, they're collecting a massive amount of fines doing a good job. They're gonna need rinsing at least once a week though. in the hose is going through a three bay purifier so it shouldn't be on in any bacteria there's no chlorine in it so the the trays are exactly the same as uh, the ones that I use for the backy shower but they're shallower so I've ground these lugs off the ones on the top layer of the backy shower I'll grind the lugs off this one. Okay, the silicon's now set, and I've siliconed these lugs in to these slots that will drop into the corresponding slots on the top tier of the backy shall we? So let's go and see if they fit. That's it, they're slotted in. I have to raise this ivy just a bit to uh, cover it, but that will stop the uh, glare of the sun. So we've had some rain in the night, a bit cloudy, but the soil will be soft and wet, so it should be a good day to dig a small trench for the uh, flexi pipe. Okay, so when we first installed the tempests, we were just opening this valve and letting the water just run into the ground but 
we've got a concrete flag foundation here for the backy showers and I was a bit concerned that constantly flooding it with water may weaken the foundations we don't want them flags to start sliding so I got two meters of inch pipe uh, just to divert the water then discovered that when I opened the tempers the water came out of the inch pipe ran behind the waterfall and underneath and ended up back in the pond so the idea is to use the uh, flexi pipe I'll dig a trench in into the embankment and uh, I'll put some slits in the flexi and hopefully it'll irrig it irrigate the uh, embankment and water the plants every time I clean the tempest. Okay, that's it, job done. The pipe runs from underground down here, down here, and ends round about here. Now I've had to do this side slightly different. Um, I've had to just show you. So all I've done is run the pipe underneath the plastic ivy to the base of this bush this shrub that's the evergreen shrub that's covering the filters in the first place so that will get watered every time I empty the tempers green water nightmare I uh, bought a new UV um, three months ago and then when we were changing the filters um, we had to lift the UV out and I'm presuming that we must have uh, jolted it and damaged the bulb or something and I wondered and pondered and scratched my head why is the water going green um, and two nights ago I lifted the lid to check the sieve and see how much uh, waste it had accumulated and I noticed the end of the UV wasn't lit so two days ago I went and got a new UV um, any thoughts on how long this is going to take to clear ok guys nothing ever goes as simple as you think I had just emptied the, t the tempers to see if the uh, irrigation pipe was taking it completely away and some water did manage to run down and get back into the pond out of one of the uh, slits that I cut in it so I'm digging this big drainage trench and I'm going to put that drainage pipe in so that it will soak away anything that comes down here will go into the drainage pipe and eventually soak away into the lawn. Well, when we get a lot of rain, the uh, the water runs down and it gets absolutely saturated at the bottom. So I've got all this drainage pipe anyway, and I've got a ton of pea gravel on the drive. Uh, but that's another project. So luckily, I've got uh, that, that drainage pipe came in handy, and the pea gravel. Pea 
in the water from the earth and soak up here. Yeah, so that's the drainage pipe in place. I've cable tied some of the nylon material that I use for the sieves round it. Of course, over time, the slits in the drainage pipe will let in soil bits of sediment and they'll eventually fill up, so this will stop that happening. This week grass now, the turf that I dug up, took back to that with soil, job done. Right, that's that done. Even though I'd put the drainage pipe in, I, I, there was a tree root in here and I stopped digging the pipe into the ground when I came to the tree root and the water was running down even though I'd put the drainage pipe in it was pooling up here and then trickling back into the pond there so I've extended it round behind here, bent it round here and that's now coming out here just behind this big succulent but again it's working it's directing the water away from stopping it getting back into the pond so I'll just open the tempest and uh, just show you how the water is being directed away from the pond I've also had to have a rethink regarding where this pipe went. I uh, originally directed it from the Tempest, put it behind this evergreen shrub, but the water was managing to run down this embankment and trickle into the pond here, sending the dirty water, well not all of it, but some of the dirty water back into the pond. So I've now dug a fresh pipe under here comes out behind this rock and it's directed into the middle of this planting it's hidden by the plants and it'll probably just water that one plant not much of an irrigation system but at least it's taking it away from the pond whilst I'm up here I'm doing some weeding there's some giant buttercups all this area was smothered in them. Look at all them I've took out so I'll just get rid of these first before I show you the tempest empty. Okay that's that cleared so the pump's turned off. For quickness I would normally, I can reach both taps from here, I'd normally shut both sets of valves and open both taps at the same time but for the purposes of this video I'll do them singly. So that So the water's trickling out of the end of that pipe Oh it's, it's coming down the embankment slightly here 
but better to water the embankment than to trickle back in the pond over there. See that on camera. Do the plants good? that side done I'll do another video on uh, the comp on how quick it is to clean these filters compared with my old system and I'll take the sleeves off and show you how much uh, muck it's stopping okay let's try the other one I'll have to tighten that knot How much green that's taking out. All it'll do is water this patch of grass though, but it's better than it running back into the pond. None of it's getting down the embankment now. Just before we finish, uh, the other day we went to a big garden centre called World of Water near Preston. Uh, Barbara's always wanted some plants in the pond and for obvious reasons the pond's too deep. I'm not going to sink lily baskets to the bottom uh, but they did have floating baskets. Quite expensive but it gave me an idea. So I'm going to uh, have a go at doing a, a DIY floating basket. Uh, for the next video so that just about concludes things um, thanks for watching any uh, advice about the uh, UV I've never I've never had the UV turned off in the pond unless I've been treating the water so I'm not really sure how long it's going to take to clear it but I'm, I'm presuming a couple of weeks um, any advice will be much appreciated thanks for watching we've now got 200 subscribers which is fantastic because I think it's only about a month, three weeks since I've posted the first video. So if you're watching these videos and you've not subscribed, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Pomfret's Pond.